The family of a man killed in a motorcycle crash in San Francisco is opening up about their grief. Andrew Rawson leaves behind a wife and four children. And as KTVU's Amber Lee reports, the family hopes by sharing their loss, they can help improve traffic safety. Just not having my partner or my best friend, the one to make decisions with, the one to help me with them, you know, who's going to go to the doctors with me? Brittany Rawson is mourning the sudden loss of her husband, Andrew, the father of their children, in a traffic accident. Knowing that they don't get to grow with their dad, and he doesn't get to see them grow. On December 7th, shortly before 9.30 a.m., family members say Andrew was riding his motorcycle from his home in Palo Alto to work in San Francisco. Relatives say the driver of a vehicle crashed into Andrew at the intersection of Cesar Chavez and South Van Ness. He died at the scene. Police say the cause of the crash is under investigation. No drugs or alcohol were involved. The family says they don't blame the driver who suffered non-life-threatening injuries. It's an unfortunate accident, but look out for motorcycles. We are selling all of our 22s. Andrew worked as a sales manager for Harley Davidson. His parents say Andrew's life revolved around motorcycles, but his family was his priority and passion. Andrew's four children range in age from one to seven. His oldest child, Hagen, wanted to speak about his father. Did you want to say something? Yeah. Okay. He loved riding bikes. <laughs> did he, he did, huh? He loved riding bikes. He loved riding with you, too. Hagen enjoyed riding with his dad as well. The family plans to work with lawmakers to make safety improvements at that intersection and elsewhere in the city. I'm going to fight and change things for him. From a mother's point of view, please look in your rear view mirror. Please take that extra time for the bicycles, for the motorcycles. The family has a GoFundMe to help raise money for funeral expenses. They're planning a last ride in memory of Andrew to be held sometime in March. In San Francisco, Amber Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.